Every year on the day after Thanksgiving. We're going from tree lighting to tree lighting. <laughs> Christmas comes to life at the Space Needle. The big moment, what we've been waiting for, and uh, the start of the holiday season. Four, three. But days two. earlier, and 600 feet in the air. Yeah, go there in order. The real countdown began. Yeah, it's not even a really long ladder, so. <laughs> This team of engineers is charged with decking the halls, or rather, the roof of the city's most well-known landmark. Uh, this is 15. And through the tangle of some 1,200 bulbs, it becomes clear. <laughs> Matt Waffle okay. most definitely drew the short straw. That's nice. We've done this in 40 mile an hour winds. It has to go up, so the weather's not cooperating. That's when we do rock, paper, scissors or something to figure out who's going to be the one going up there. All of the Olympics. The good news Island, then Harbor is this Island. sunny November day. You can just barely see Mount St. Helens. Now we're going to start bringing them up. And the bad news as his co-workers use a pulley system to raise 24 strands of lights one by one is that Matt must remain perched on a ladder rung <sighs> that's only about an inch wide at the very tip top of the space He's needle. He's probably hiding behind the, the poles up there. So his hands are just cold as all. And because you wouldn't believe us if we told you, we'll let him. If I can avoid it, I do. I've got a little fear of heights, so. But uh, briefly lash them to the side so they're That's out of right. way. We'll tighten them up later. He's afraid of heights. I want to try to speed this up if we can. Coming up. Perhaps that's why this crew is working so quickly. We should turn this into a workout program. Go ahead. It really works out the arms. Whatever the reason. Yes, this is number 18. They make stringing sky-high Christmas lights look easy. Yep, that's the LED bulb. Because there's no filament, when these things get banged around in the wind, it won't break. Rainier. And just as Matt starts to relax and enjoy the scenery, oh, cascades. the job is done. Yeah, that's it. And yeah. the timing is perfect. Two, Two one. one. Woo! Every year, on the day after Thanksgiving, the Space Needle brightens the sky and the mood. I'd be like totally bummed out if like, oh no, that one up there is out. <laughs> For Matt, it is the ultimate payoff. It's definitely a sense of accomplishment. And in his eyes, the view has never looked so good.